Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the multiple choice questions on corrosion. The process of coating steel with tin to prevent it from corrosion is called. Generally, iron or steel metals will be protected from the corrosion by coating with tin and the process is called as tinning. One of the following gas in the atmosphere do not accelerate the rusting of iron. Nitrogen do not accelerate rusting of iron. Anodic coating protects the underlined metal. So, anodic coating means that metal will act sacrificially. So, it protects the underlined metal sacrificially. One of the following metal gives passive layer over iron metal to protect iron from corrosion. So, in order to protect iron from the corrosion, if the coating is given with zinc metal, then it will act as a passive layer. So, in this case, zinc is the right option. The food containers are generally coated internally with so in order to store food items the food containers are generally coated with tin metal rusting of iron materials is catalyzed by the presence of rusting is an oxidation process and it is always accelerated by the presence of H plus ions. So, the presence of H plus ions increases the rusting of iron. During wet corrosion in neutral environment. So, wet corrosion is also called as electrochemical corrosion. It may take place either in the acidic environment or in the neutral environment. So, in the neutral environment, generally absorption of oxygen gas takes place. Anti-rust paints contains. In order to protect any metallic structure from corrosion, anti-rust paints will be preferred. Anti-rust paints generally consist of cuprous oxide. The following metal is used for the clouding of aluminium. So, during the protection of dure aluminium from corrosion, aluminium will be preferred and it should be 99.5% pure. So, 99.5% aluminium is used during the clouding of aluminium. The process of cementation with zinc powder is known as. So, generally in order to protect from corrosion, especially very small objects, shredderizing process is preferred. So, cementation with zinc powder is called shredderizing. Corrosion of metal is fastest in. Corrosion is an oxidation process and it is generally accelerated in the acidic environment. So, it is fastest in acidulated water. Corrosion is an example of, definitely corrosion is an example of oxidation. The composition of rust is, so rust is generally the hydrated ferric oxide. So, in this case, Fe2O3XH2O is the right option. The following metal undergoes corrosion easily. So, we can predict which metal undergoes corrosion more readily by through electrochemical series. The metal higher in the electrochemical series undergoes corrosion more readily. So, magnesium is higher in the electrochemical series. So, it undergoes corrosion more readily. Which of the following does not corrode when exposed to air? 
generally noble metals such as gold silver platinum do not undergo corrosion when exposed to air so in this case silver is the right option it do not undergo corrosion even though it is exposed to air which of the following can provide cathodic protection to iron that means in order to protect iron from the corrosion iron is made as the cathode so in the given options we have to identify which of the following metals are anodic to the iron so once again from the electrochemical series we can predict that aluminium and zinc are higher when compared with iron in electrochemical series so the right option is aluminium and zinc difficult to monitor and very dangerous form of corrosion is corrosion is of several types so especially whenever a crack is observed on the metallic structure it is highly difficult to identify and because of small crack it creates a small anodic area and hence pitting corrosion is the most dangerous form of corrosion and also it is difficult to identify when platinum and cobalt are electrically connected which one gets corroded so again we can answer from electrochemical series the cobalt is higher in the electrochemical series so cobalt undergoes corrosion the position of nail undergoes corrosion is corrosion of nail under comes under stress corrosion so both head and tail parts undergoes corrosion which of the following materials are used for coating to protect the corrosion so in order to protect corrosion of any metallic structure we can prefer metallic coatings organic coatings or inorganic coatings so all the above methods can be used in order to protect any metallic structure from the corrosion the general type of corrosion is corrosion can be classified into two types one is dry corrosion and the other one is wet corrosion and most general and common type of corrosion is electrochemical corrosion it is also known as wet corrosion the area of a metal under the dirt acts as whenever we consider any metallic structure if the dirt is deposited then the underlying area so this area will become anode so the metal under the dirt will act as anode clear students let us move on to the remaining multiple choice questions the buried iron pipes used for the transportation of oils are protected from corrosion by generally buried pipelines are protected from the corrosion through sacrificial anodic protection the process reduces the corrosion so what is the process which reduces the corrosion alloying is the process that reduces the corrosion in the paint turpentine oil is an example of so whenever the paint becomes thick in order to reduce its viscosity turpentine oil will be added so that means to reduce its thickness thinners will be added so turpentine oil will act as the thinner finally i would like to conclude this video by giving two test questions during electrochemical corrosion in acidic environment identify what happens 
so during electrochemical corrosion in the acidic environment what happens and identify if the metal is present at the top of electrochemical series what is its behavior if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day